does forgiveness have a sound? We're talking about sound today, obviously. That's going to be one of our themes. And as Josh so well said, when it clicks in, there's an aha moment. Our senses bring us truth. But does forgiveness have a sound? I think it does. I'm prepared to show you. Then I would ask you this. Does hatred have a sound? Sure it does. It can be a murmur. It can be a shout. We hear the sound of hatred in John 8 when the people who hate Jesus bring a woman. They throw her in front of Jesus Maybe like we can imagine her in front of us right here, right now. And men surround. And we can hear their shuffling feet and their snarling voices as they say, this woman we caught in the very act. In fact, one guy speaks up. This woman was caught in the very act of adultery. The law says we should stone her. What do you think, Jesus? The Bible says that was a setup. That The Bible actually says it was a trap because they were trying to trap Jesus. They didn't care about the woman. And they didn't care about the law. If they cared about the law, there'd be a guy there too. But there's more. So they're just snarling and they're full of hatred. They're stoner, stoner. And these guys have just built up a case in their minds. And, and their, the shuffle of the feet, even their thoughts, you could hear they were so thick. And, it's, and it wasn't about her. They were going to kill her, all right. But it was, we got you, Jesus. We got you. Because Jesus, if you say... If you just forgive her, then the law doesn't mean anything, pal, and you can't be God. And everything you said is a lie. Gotcha. But if you say stoner, then you're not very gracious, are you? You're just killing her. That was Jack Nicholson. That's probably not good. <laughs> you're really not. I used to do this, but I don't have to anymore. But anyway, right? Jesus, we've got you. If you let her go, there's no justice in the world. And everybody who's been wronged has no hope in you, and we're lost like the rest of the world. But if you stone her, then there's no grace, hope in the world. What are you going to do, big boy? And Jesus bends down. And somebody was at the first service. You know, the creator of the dirt of the earth writes in the dirt. We don't know what he wrote. But what I think is he just let them stew in their own sound. Right? Murmur, murmur, grumble, grumble, kill, kill, maim, maim, slaughter, slaughter. And, and he just let him sit in it. Remember, this is the man who entered the temple and turned the tables on the profiteers. Now he's going to turn the tables on the haters. And then he stands up and he says, whoever is without sin can cast the first stone. What has he just said? The law says you're right. She's guilty. Do it. But here's the problem you guys have. You're sinners too. And the minute you raise a stone to condemn her, you might as well throw it at yourself. Whoever is without sin can cast the first stone. And Jesus bends back down. I mean, it's the classic woo moment. He's just, wow. The people who came there to kill walk away and drop their stones one by one. The oldest first. Now, if I were in that mob... And, and Jesus was just another dude, I still would have thrown a rock because he can't stop me. There must have been something about his person. Amen? They came to kill, and they went home not killing. That's what to kill a mockingbird is about, right? To disperse a mob takes a personage. It takes, I think it took the Holy Spirit. It took the truth. For people who came to kill her because she was a sinner to suddenly realize we're sinners too. Now, is that the sound of forgiveness? It's at least the sound of confession. We talked about this at our, we had a beautiful um, women's conference here at the church this month. This has been a 31 day month, I guess, but it started with just a beautiful women's conference. That's why all those rocks are in the back here. And I wanted to share what the women had talked about with our congregation. So I walked to the back to find a stone and so as I was rooting through the stones, I thought, I want to share the anger of the men who wanted to kill this woman. And I, and I found some stones, and I, in my training in Michigan, growing up along the shores of Lake Michigan, we threw rocks. We would just throw a log or a stick or a boat, we graduated to making boats and breaking them, into the lake. And then we'd get as far away as we could, 
to throw rocks at it that could break it. And with four brothers and two sons and a daughter, well, well, you know what happened. I wonder how far I can go. I'll bet I can hit that. I'll bet I can hit it before you hit it. <laughs> right? And that competition. And I learned, you don't throw rocks like this. You get chucking rocks like this. You fit in the hand. Can you feel this? I'm going to walk around. You can feel a nice chucking rock, right? You don't feel it? That's a good chucking rock. Yeah. Anybody could throw this. And this is, and, and it hit me. The, the, not just the feedback, but the, <laughs> if, you, if you really want to hurt somebody, you get a chucking rock, right? And if she's out there, and then it began to think, wow, those guys had to, this was a real plant job. They came loaded for bear. They came with their stones. They came to kill, and they were specific stones. And have you ever been so mad at somebody that you could make a stone up that you, man, you, man, you stole my business. You stole my husband. You stole my wife. You hurt my child, right? You can get it worked up, can't you? to where it's justified that I plaster that person. You molested me, you robbed me, you hated me, you didn't give me, you gave too much, whatever it is. How many of you have felt that stone in your hand? Amen? And they dropped it. Now, the women were talking about something else. What's interesting is, I call that the chucking stone. But that woman who was left there, because here's what happened. They walked away. You heard a lot of this. But she was left there. And Jesus said to her, has no one condemned you? And she said, no one, sir. And he said, then neither do I condemn you. Go and stop sinning. Doesn't say it's okay. Doesn't say adultery's fine. You hear no word of that. But you also hear, you're my child. I don't condemn you. Stop it. Make a change. You know what stone she had? She didn't have this stone. She had a burden stone. Amen? Now, if I were to ask you, not only have I asked you to think about your chucking stone, now think about your burden stone. Think about that thing you're ashamed of, that you're not sure if everybody knew about it, how they'd treat you. That thing that broke you. That thing that you did that hit somebody else with a rock. That marriage you may have screwed up. That life you may have taken. That thing that you may, it's a burden. And it's a lot heavier than this. Amen? And what is Jesus saying to her? You drop that too. That's the sound of forgiveness. Amen? Is that worthy of an amen? Amen. amen. You drop that stone. And what is the sound of forgiveness? I'm not there yet. It could be. It could be that. It could be stones hitting each other, which, believe me or not, hear how you hear this. That travels. But the reason I know, see, Jesus is just talking unless some other sound happens. Now fill the room or fill this, fill the length of my arms with a stone. And when that stone rolls, hear it on the dirt. <laughs> Terrible imitation. Just hear it. In fact, I, I don't, your brain is better at making this sound. Make it. Because the sound of that stone, by the way, which didn't let Jesus out, it let the women in. Jesus can pass through stone, he can pass through walls, he can pass into our spirit, our bodies, right? Uh, mass is not a problem for God. In fact, you've got to lose it to go to heaven. But anyway, that stone that rolled away proved the one who said, Father, forgive them, had the power to do it. That's the sound of forgiveness. Now, why did I talk about all these rocks? Because if you've dropped your burden or your right to persecute, your chucking stone, then you have experienced the sound of forgiveness. Amen? Have you? Have you? Because we can talk about it all day long, but Easter becomes real when something moves in me and I drop that rock and for some of you today it's your burden and your burden has fueled your chucking for others your burden is your chucking now i'm just going to say words and your brains are going to fry but you do the math what is it that you have to drop and that beloved is the sound of forgiveness forgive someone today forgive yourself today give it to jesus because he's rolled that stone away
the one you can't roll, I can't roll. Ten guys could probably roll it. But rightness with God is what Jesus gives. Happy Easter. Amen? Let's pray. Father God, thank you for this truth. Thank you for the way it's at work in our lives. Lord Jesus, help me drop that stone I've been carrying looking for the right opportunity to peg that guy or that gal. Help me to drop my burden at your feet. And help me to hear the sound of that rolled away stone that says you, God, have the authority to forgive sins. You've accepted the, um, the, the blood of Christ. And by faith, you accept me. Help me love others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.